Introducing the C00169. In this video, we're going to cover the tool frame and components, a brief overview of what the tool does and how the tool works, and how to properly apply a band clamp. This is the C00169. We'll work for a quarter to three quarter inch band up to 30 thousandths thick. This is the C00369. We'll work for a quarter to three quarter inch width band, 44 thousandths of an inch thick. This is our G40269 giant tool. We'll work for three quarters to an inch and a quarter width band, 44 thousandths of an inch thick. Let's start with the nose of the tool frame. On the tool, nose of the tool frame, you'll find a slotted entrance for the band, cutter bar, the cutter bar handle, and a set screw. How to properly apply a clamp. The correct orientation should have the cutter blade facing down and out, not against the object being clamped. Take the tail end of the band clamp, open the slide block, then insert the band through the opening of the nose of the tool through to the gripper. You want the buckle to rest against the nose of the tool. Begin to tension the band by turning the tension handle clockwise until snug. Now we're going to continue to tension the band until the maximum tension is attained. When the steel band is tensioned up to its yield strength, it has a maximum holding force. Additional tensioning beyond the yield strength will stretch the band, but not apply additional holding force. If tensioning and stretching continues, the band will ultimately break. So, how do we find the maximum tension? There are three different techniques to find the maximum tension. The first technique is the three line test. Using a felt tip marker, place three lines, three to four lines, a quarter inch away from the buckle. Resume tensioning until you watch the movement of the three lines in relation to the buckle. The clamp is reaches yield strength when the lines stop moving. The second technique to find your maximum tension is to place your finger on the banded band in the buckle bridge while you're turning the tension handle. The maximum yield strength has been attained once the band stops moving through the buckle. The third technique is to attach the CO65 tension limiter to the back of the C00169. The tension limiter allows users of these manual tools to apply clamps consistently with proper set tension. As successive clamps are tightened, a pin will pop out indicating the clamp is tight, preventing over tightening. Once maximum tension is attained, roll over the buckle, backing off the tension handle a half turn to a full turn. Failure to back off the tension handle and throughout the entire course of the rollover may result in breaking of the band. Note, there is no loss of tension as the band is released, it's used up in the band. The cutter bar should now be facing up. Secure the tool with the movement with one hand while pulling or pushing the cutter bar and handle with a quick, strong force. Next step is to remove the tool. You're gonna be left with a band tap. Push it down between the ears of the buckle, and we're gonna hammer down the ears of the buckle. What we are left with is a completed band clamp. Remove the remaining clamp tail from the tool by lifting up on the gripper and return the slide block to the start position for the next band clamp. What this tool does is cut the band right from the bulk roll as this completely eliminates the waste of band. It then is used to apply a band clamp to your application. The C00169 will tension well over 2400 pounds of tension force. FYI, a three-quarter inch width 201 stainless steel will yield at 2,250 pounds. 